Here's the plan. We're all gonna leave Koenigsee at a really nice 4.30 in the morning and drive collectively to Munich. Adam and Marcus will leave us and they'll wait about in Munich for a while. Axel and Ricky are gonna drive all the way over to Calais, hop across on the Euro Tunnel and then drive up to Loughborough. At five in the afternoon, the boys are gonna board their plane and fly to Heathrow and then drive from Heathrow up to Loughborough. It should be close, covering over a thousand miles in the van and taking the best part of 20 hours. So let's see who wins. Right to Munich, saying goodbye to the lads. They're flying Bye. back. Oh, so emotional. I They're flying back. back. <laughs> They're flying back. We've got another what 14 hours in this in this bad boy. It's all love. It's all love. <laughs> Yay! Bob Slay! Um, yeah, we'll see you see who's first back. Probably them. It's but going to be quite close. It is going to be close. It is going to be within a couple of hours. It so, depends what Folkestone's like. Yeah, if we have a clean run through and you hit some traffic or delays or your flight, you know, whew, we'll see. So they're going to film theirs. We're going to film ours. The race is on. We love Bobsleigh! Oh, so, me and Marcus have opted to fly home. So we're actually uh, making our way to the nearest metro station. We, uh, we got out of the car, walked the wrong way. <laughs> Go on, clear off. Bodes well for us if they don't know where they're going. Off they go. Bye. We're hoping, we're hoping to beat him, but be close. Basically, we can't hit a delayed flight, but if they hear any traffic... No! Oh, he's got me! He got me! <laughs> if they hear any traffic of any kind, their journey turns very south very quickly. So we'll see. Just got off the metro. And we're here. In Odeon's place. Really good bracket. Alright, Adam Abansky here. Back here at you again with another vlog. We're currently on the S platform. Yeah. Boom. We're gonna what are you saying Adam? Hey. Uh, good bro. Yeah. Good man. Good. Good. Yeah, so boom. We're here. <laughs> and we're gonna get the train. Have you seen this girl though? Okay. <laughs> She's a lemon, bro. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I shook the pump on me, yeah? <laughs> and then, yeah, we're going to the airport, so. I love that. Happy days. And we will still beat the boys, hopefully. And who knows? Come on, you! Flug Harbins. Flug Harbins. So we're five and a half hours in. Made our first stop. We did have a little switcher driver. Ricky's done the last, uh, well, five and a half hours since we left the boys. Like, what would that make it? Seven hours total. And we got a few more hours to the border. But we might be able to get an earlier train. So we're gonna get there like two hours before our own train. If we get an earlier train, that puts the boys at a risk of getting beaten. So we'll get this chicken down us. And see if oh, we wait, can't beat them. No, their, their yeah. flight isn't for another four hours. So we're gonna be at the border by the time they're getting their flight. So we can get on one of the earlier trains. Woo. It's heating up. Let's go. So it's nice of um, Axel to join us. 
actually will be throwing the plane off the runway today. And uh, <laughs> we should land in Gatwick. Yeah, here's um, Captain Urban Fly. And he'll be piloting this Pratt & Whitney Sturmotor 9 cylinder CA 570 PS Belgian 1957. Um, so the airport is literally empty. Luckily, it's really busy here today. Like, there is literally no one here. Which means we should have a lot of leg room. And Marcus has stepped in poo at the Olympic Village, so <laughs> we won't be uh, pissing anyone off. <laughs> And just like that, it took us approximately two minutes to get through security. I think it took about 30 seconds. Yeah, to maybe 30 seconds because there is nobody here. They didn't so, care about the liquids we had. They yep. didn't care about, you know, 50 mils of lotion oil. They just said, brother, go through the gate, shut up, get on the plane. And Marcus is fine, so yeah, happy day. We made the early tunnel. We're here, it's just before eight o'clock. It means it's about 12 hours since we dropped the boys off. Um, 13 and a half since setting off. But we're here. It's not been too bad, to be honest. We had one stop for that KFC. That's about it. Other than that, it's just been driving. Uh, so we should be in UK about like 8 p.m. Gripping, gripping stuff. The details of time zones. I know you're very interested. Um, yeah, so we'll see. I think they are landing about now. Or getting out of the airport about now, so. It's going to be tight, it depends if they stop for food, maybe they drop Marcus off and take a bit of time, but regardless, to be within an, within an hour at this point stands us in good stead, so hopefully we can pip them at the post. Off we get. Pretty sure we're still ahead of the boys. I don't think they've even made it to Calais yet, so we had the wind with us. Quick fly. We made it in. It's just gone midnight. Flipping roadworks diverted us for half an hour right at the end. We're both pretty wiped, fair to say. Good characteristics. Um, yeah, we lost by like two hours in the end. Um, but to be fair, to be within two hours, not bad going. House is freezing because the uh, heating was off, so it's gonna be a cold night, but we're home and it's Christmas, so can't be too mad, but yeah. See you ready for bobsleigh next year. Bye.